I'm Detective Chief Inspector Gary Jubilant from the New South Wales Police Force. Today we've commenced a search as part of the ongoing investigation in the disappearance of William Tyrrell in bushland near the intersection of Batar Creek Road and Cedar Loggers Lane. This location is approximately four kilometres away from where William disappeared and where we've been conducting a forensic search for the past uh, two and a half weeks. This the reason why we're searching this very specific area of bushland is a result of information we've uncovered during the course of the investigation. Loving you, red light on the dusty avenues inside your heart, just afraid to go. Police on a second search for William Tyrrell last year found bones, a spear gun, shovels, toys, and backpacks. All items possibly connected with a small child and the disposal of a body. But officers said that. They've left no stone unturned. Any remaining evidence would be hard to define or would have changed from exposure in the bush. A search of Kendall and the thick lantana in surrounding bushland by 40 police officers with cadaver dogs in June last year found the items, but not one was anything indicating William's presence. Although any remaining evidence would be hard to define or could have changed from exposure in the bush. New South Wales Police forensic profiler in the case, Detective Sergeant Laura Beecroft, told the inquest into the three-year-old's 2014 disappearance. She concluded from the finds that William had been taken away from the area. Sergeant Beecroft was second to strike force Rosen and conducted the four week forensic search of the immediate area and of the surrounding fire trails and tracks. She told the inquest she was looking to establish that if William was taken, whether it was someone on foot or in a vehicle and the route within the Kendall State Forest to move from that area. Earlier, the inquest heard the boy was most likely abducted by a sneaky, complex offender who was a family member, friend, neighbour, person of trust, or a stranger, unknown. In an attempt to blow open the case, the Deputy State Coroner today opened an inquest acknowledging William's biological and foster relatives who were in the courtroom. To have a missing child is the greatest pain anyone can experience. It's my greatest hope the inquest will reveal new evidence. Then the court's focus turned to September 12, 2014, the day this photo was taken and the day the three-year-old disappeared. Ninety-seven percent of the perpetrators of child abduction murderers were family members of acquaintances. There are very few family members who had access to William. If William was murdered, it may be this rare three percent of cases. 
Offenders in child abduction come in all shapes, sizes, colours, genders and economic status. Offenders were often a sneaky, complex character who had hidden his or her desires for some time and has chosen to act on those desires. It is important to know that if somebody was to leave evidence in 2014, a thorough investigation in 2018 would show up no DNA evidence, especially within the thick lantana that was surrounding the house and the bushland. The inquest is currently within a closed court. They are currently speaking to a gentleman named Jeff Owen. Why the court is closed for this testimony, I'm not sure, but should shed light on great detail of the investigation. If you do a Google search on Jeff Owen within Port Macquarie and the surrounding area, you'll see that he's a local handyman. Jeff Owen installed the decking at the house where William was playing before he vanished. Jeff Owen played darts with Mr. McKinley the man who saw the white station wagon drive crazily. He also built the deck from the last photo of William Tyrrell. It's suspected that either Jeff Owen knows a little bit more about the situation, hence the closed court, or the court is trying to determine whether the final photo of William Tyrrell is in fact at the residence on Benaroon Drive. It will be interesting when the story unfolds and we find out more information leading to this investigation. My name is Sean and this is Gone.